When building UIs, you'll often need a widget that allows users to select from a list of options. For short lists, you can use a list of radio buttons or segmented buttons. But if you have an arbitrarily large list of options, you should use a drop-down menu. Drop-down menu is a material widget that allows the user to select from a list of options, and it's replacing drop-down button and drop-down button form field. You might think the drop-down menu looks a lot like a text field widget, and you'd be right. The drop-down menu widget is a menu that can be opened from a text field, and when the user selects a value from the menu, it fills the text field with that value. To create a drop-down menu, start with the drop-down menu widget. To add menu items, pass the drop-down menu a list of drop-down menu entry objects. Each drop-down menu entry requires two arguments, a value and a label. The label field is what's displayed on the menu item, and the value field usually contains the data that we actually care about. The drop-down menu itself requires an unselected callback. This callback will be called whenever the user selects a new menu item from the list, and that callback will be passed the value associated with the drop-down menu entry. The drop-down menu is searchable by default, which is helpful if you have a list with many entries. You can turn searching off with the enable search property, and you can also enable filtering, which hides all menu entries that don't match against the search term. Finally, the drop-down menu includes many properties that allow you to style the widget, like width, as well as properties that allow you to add text to make your widget more accessible, like label or helper text. To find out more about drop-down menu and all the Flutter widgets, head to flutter.dev.